In this video, I'm going to share to you guys how I managed to implement ads in Universal Windows Platform using Unity and Microsoft Visual Studio Community 2019. So a little background, Unity Ads doesn't support Universal Windows Platform. Um, Google AdMob used to support it before, but they decided to stop supporting it for a reason I haven't researched yet. And Microsoft has its own SDK, but I find it a bit tedious to implement. That's why I ended up using Vangel. So let's go. I'll show you how I did it. Uh, first thing to do, you need to sign up for your account on Vangel. After signing up, you can now log in to your account. Next is you need to add the application. This application will be a reference in our Unity to initialize the SDK. You just click the Add Application button, select which platform, name your app, and then that's it. Once you are done adding the application, you should save the app ID because we will be needing this app ID to initialize our SDK inside Unity. Next is we create the placements. You can add placements by clicking this add placement in the upper right section of the page. Then we select the app that we created in the previous step. After selecting the app, you can decide which type of ads to display. For now, I will show you how to display interstitial ads. Now that we are done creating the placements, uh, make sure to copy the placement reference ID because we will be needing this one to display the ads inside Unity. Next is download the Unity plugin for the Vangel. I will be including the link in the description too, so don't worry, just click it. Then let's import the Unity package. Just drag it here. That's it. Yeah, and click import. So, okay guys, after importing the Vangel SDK, make sure to take note of this. This is one of the most important part that you need to configure. There are three files that we need to set the settings after importing the Vangel SDK. So make sure to copy, while I click the file, make sure to copy the settings in the inspector. So we have the Vangel SDK WinMD. Yeah, copy the inspector properties. We have the Vangel SDK proxy, WinMD, should copy this, and the Vangel SDK proxy DLL. Okay, I, I repeat, make sure you copy all the settings from the inspector. So yes, now make sure to copy my player settings. Target device in a device, architecture, x64, build configuration, change it to master, because Visual Studio is having problem with the certification kit if you're using release, so we're using master. But no worries, we can still build the package. Um, on the right side, uh, make sure auto graphics is unchecked. And Scripting backend, IL2 CPP, and API compatibility level should be .NET 4X. And one more thing in the publishing settings, make sure to check internet client. 
okay so because it won't access the internet if you didn't give the app the capability to use the internet client so yeah let's build This code shouldn't. Um, this code is not supposed to be the best code to on how to implement it. But at least I'll show you how to run the ads. So you remember, guys, we saved the app ID and the interstitial ID. So, so the first thing you need to do is um, call the initialize event handler. So you will have the event to listen for what's happening after you initialize the SDK. And then after calling the initialize event handlers, you should call the vangle.init or initialize in which we will be using the Windows app ID or the app ID in our vangle website to initialize the SDK. After you are done calling the initialize SDK, it will have its feedback on our event handlers if it succeeded initializing or if it has some error while initializing we can check it in the event handlers so maybe you're asking why I'm putting the feedback in a game object text rather than debug logging it is because we can't run the Vangel ads in the unity editor itself so to serve as my debug.log I just found I just find some text game object in the scene and change the text to what the event handler messages will give us after initializing and showing the the ads. After you are done initializing, you can now call the load ad and after loading the ad you can now call the play ad. In the load ad, you need to pass the interstitial ID or the reference ID of the placement both in both load ad and init ad. Um, there's a function that you can check if the ad is ready. Maybe it will be safer to check first if it's ready before calling the play ad. So, you won't have some null reference issue when calling your play add function in the Vangel. So yeah, we're almost done the Unity part. Um, just to show you how to properly or maybe sequentially call the function for you to display the ads correctly, I just put them in update and trigger them by pressing some buttons. Uh, I haven't got the time to prepare some <laughs> UI buttons for it or some sequence, but at least you will get the idea on how you should call it one by one. So in my update, you can see it's actually in order from top to bottom. So we first initialize the event handlers and then uh, the event handlers is the listeners for the event on as to what's happening with the Vangel processes. And then in it is we need to initialize the Vangel first using the app ID in our dashboard in our Vangel website. Um, once done, um, uh, you saw it before that I will be displaying the debug log in the title so we know if it's already loaded or not. After it is loaded, we can call the load interstitial by pressing my coded S button. So once interstitial is loaded, we can now call the play ad. So it will display the interstitial ad. Um, also, like what I 
said before, um, it's safer to check first if the ads are available before calling the play ad. But for the for showing you guys, uh, the purpose is just to show you guys how to run the ads. So yeah, it's time to build our universal Windows platform. Oh, make sure to set all the settings that I showed you before in the DLLs, the WinMD, and in the player player settings and publishing settings. So let's just name it. U W P build. So yeah, after building, um, remember the folder and the name that we created before. Uh, Unity will create a solution file inside of that. Don't confuse it with the solution file in which our Unity project is using. You should always use the one that we built from Universal Windows Platform. So, you need to manually set the images first. Just follow the steps that I'll be... Uh, I'm... Selecting landscape because my game is a uh, landscape setup. Yeah, this is the one I'm talking about. You should always provide the icon and the splash screen. For now, I just use some um, placeholder just to show you how to do it. If you didn't set this one, if you forgot to set this one, you will fail to build the app, app package. So after selecting the icon image, just click generate and it will be fine. So next is select the target to master and then the architecture to x64. Now in the solution explorer, just right click the name of your project then select publish then associate up with a store select the name of your app name next associate then same right click select publish and then create a package this will take some time so let's wait for it So yes, after that, the launch Windows app certification kit will pop up automatically. So it's best to launch this certification kit. So it's like a test for your Windows app. So once it passed all the tests that the um, Visual Studio will be doing, it will be easier for you to upload your app in the Microsoft Store. So yeah, let's run it. Though it will take some time again, so let's wait. And yep, we passed the Windows App Certification Kit, so let's test the package now. If So let's go back to the folder where we created when we build our universal windows platform go to app packages folder the name of your app and let's test the actually we can test all this architecture but let's just test the most common one the x64 X master yep double click the app x so we can install it now, after we install this app, we can test the Vangal ads. Yay! So, I'm pressing A to because, as I mentioned before, I set the functions in the um, bo button press trigger. So, A for initialized and 
to listen to the event yeah once true it means it's already initialized and the add is already uh, prepared so I'm going to press S to load the ad and now I'm going to press D to play the ad Yay. 